we are finally starting to rebuild the bulkheads. The entire reason why we came here to Linton Bay. We're gonna start cutting out the templates for the new bulkheads and then transfer them to wood and cut them all out. We never start any videos on the flybridge. It's always downstairs or in the salon. You know, this is my favorite part of the boat, right? Another reason why I don't come up here is because it's like rubbing all this beauty in my face. It's so close, but I'm still so far from getting back in the water. I'm literally 20 feet away, but at least two or three months to go. Let's go tape some cardboard trace some walls, and cut out some brand new bulkheads. I'm totally just winging it as I go. I'm thinking we'll get these boxes up here. I'll clamp it to the existing bulkhead. That'll buy us some time to do some rough tracing and cutting. Maybe we'll get the other piece on there and then tape them together. Still a bit dusty in here. I gotta cover my face. So we should be able to just cut down this line and it should give us a really close match to that curve. dangerous for human beings. It's dangerous for a lot of things. All I know is that it just doesn't sound right. I'm gonna sacrifice an entire piece of plywood for one bulkhead, but we have it all in one piece, which is kind of cool. From the bottom here, all the way up to the top, we got it clamped down. We're just gonna cut out the rough shape and then bring it up, trace it again, and get it perfect. All right, Patty, this is the most important cut of our entire bulkhead. It's the only cut that needs to be perfectly straight because it lines up with that back wall. So Patty's taking a secondhand smoke break for me. I, I got a laugh out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so we can calm his nerves because it's all on him. If he screws this up, he's buying me another piece of $100 plywood. Look at the concentration on this man. Nice. All right, this is number one. Look at our sexy bulkhead. Bottom to top, baby. We'll put it up against the wood, make sure that everything matches up. Damn it, it's too big. It's too damn big. Whoa, shit. Oh, barely, come on, baby. There we go. Woo! I can't believe that worked. To get that last little bit perfect, I've got a fender washer, basically gonna be a spacer to help us trace that contour perfectly of the hole in the wall. That gap at the bottom is just too big. I didn't cut it quite right. So we're gonna go for a bigger spacer. We're gonna use a cutoff wheel.
we're able to clear that gap at the bottom. And then we've got a ton of extra room here because I knew I would screw up. We've been upstairs for 30 minutes and we already got a flood happening here. This is what it's like working in the rainforest. Oh. Huh. I f***ed it up. I cut it too short. Ruined a perfectly good piece of marine grade plywood. I put it up on the wall and there's a big gap at the bottom. So I'm basically turning this into the template for the next piece I'm gonna cut, except for now I don't have enough pieces of plywood left. So I have to order more plywood from two and a half hours away because there's no stores within two and a half hours. I left plenty of room horizontally, but I forgot to leave extra space at the top and bottom. So I cut it in half, extended it, and screwed it back together so at least we can have a pattern for the next one. You know, what's sad is that this is the reality of doing boat work. Half of the time, stuff just doesn't work out and it sucks. I usually just cut this kind of stuff out, wait a week, get the wood in, splice it all together and make it look interesting. We're gonna go find some friends and see if we can go for a relaxing swim and just get away from all this for today. I hope you guys enjoy a little bit of the beautiful side of Panama that I never get to see because I don't have a dinghy. Hola. It's so hard buying stuff in a foreign country when you don't speak the language. Whatever they say to me, I'm just like, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, no. Finally, I figured out what he was saying. He was asking if I have a car that he can load my wood onto. Ah, this wood is so much better because it hasn't been sitting under a boat in the Panamanian jungle for four months. These guys think I'm freaking crazy. They're like, I've never seen anybody so excited to pick up wood. <laughs> but this wood is our future. With this wood, we're gonna build brand new bulkheads, strong bulkheads. We're gonna fix our boat. We're gonna bring her back to Texas and live on her. I cannot wait. Passes the slap test. Now we just gotta drive two and a half hours. Highway, jungle roads, speed bumps, massive potholes. Transismica. In three kilometers, take the exit toward Panama Cologne Expressway, Route 9. I've been gone for a couple of days and somebody stole my table from under the boat. I found some crates that they're bringing over here. We'll throw those under the boat, stack the plywood up, keep it nice and dry. Woo! Why does everything always take so much longer than you think it's gonna take? Five pieces of plywood. Boop, 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 boop. But no, no. Now it's another two and a half hours back to Panama City to return the $100 a day truck and then re-rent the $30 a day car, which I just returned earlier this morning in order to rent the $100 a day truck. 
¿Cómo es barco o bote? So barco and bote both mean boat, but I'm trying to figure out which one to use. Bueno. Bote. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Apparently a bote is smaller than a barco, but I still don't know what to call our boat. Now it's another two and a half hours back to the marina. And we're back in Linton Bay. We've got a couple hours of light left, so let's cut out this bulkhead. Our number one bulkhead, it's happening right now. It's the moment of truth. I'm not as good on a circle saw as I thought I was. How do you not cut straight with a circle saw? I apparently was able to not cut straight with a circle saw. <laughs> Need a little bit more practice. As long as it lines up, most important is that curve along the hull. I hope I got that right. Pretty damn good. See how everything looks at the bottom. I'm gonna call this a success. Our first bulkhead cut out. I couldn't stop half done. I'm gonna cut these final cuts out to make this bulkhead just perfect and finished. So I can know when I sleep tonight that I've got one whole bulkhead complete. Finito, terminar. I think that means done in Spanish. First of four complete. Look at that. So proud of my first little bulkhead. Looks so good. Okay, push this in place. What? A pretty bulkhead. Front, back, an entire bulkhead done. Those top edges lined up so nicely. On this side, obviously it ends right at that wall. On this side, we actually go past. So it's staggered a little bit. Same thing with the bottom here. Right at this super weak joint, I rounded the corners. This sucker is gonna be so strong. Bulkheads, baby. Bulkheads. Oh. <laughs> Guys, thank you for sticking with me through these sporadic videos. This has been the hardest journey of my life. Filming, fixing, family, and most of all, editing. God, I'm slow at editing videos. If you wanna see this boat completely fixed, hit subscribe because I won't stop until she's whole again. And thank you to our crazy Patreons who have been pushing me to get these videos out. No joke, one of them actually threatened me with a taser if I didn't get this video out by today. Hmm, I better finish tonight or it gets... <laughs>